INEC's decision to extend the deadline after a political party postponed a screening for presidential aspirants has been a subject of debate. A legal practitioner, Barrister Greg Iaye, said although INEC acted within its constitutional powers, the trend of events which followed the extension after clearance by a court of a presidential aspirant is suspicious. While Barrister Chris Abuanebe said the development gives an impression that INEC extended the deadline to favor the ruling All Progressives Congress, which is here to commence the process of conducting its presidential primary. Although it's within the law, but there are some undertones that make us very uncomfortable about it. And there have been very serious assurances that there will be no extension at all. And everyone went with that. Then all of a sudden, uh, the INEC came up and said they were going to extend it by another one week. I believe it, it shifted the goalpost at the beginning when the match was already halfway. I remember Peter Obi, when he was in PDP, also said, well, canvassing for extension. They said no. But all of a sudden, and they know that the PDP had done their primaries to the very last stage, they now choose to extend the date for the APC. There's no defense they are going to have that it was not extended for APC. Some residents, Efia Menze, said with the foregoing, INEC will have to convince the public of its readiness to operate without interference, just as the public expects it to demonstrate its independence and impartiality ahead of the 2023 general elections, while a businessman, Don Peters, described the extension as a welcome development which will enable other political parties yet to conduct their primaries to do so. Do the right thing and expect criticism, irrespective of who you are. Let them criticize you, let them insult you make on you know on guided statements about you it's better to do that than to do the wrong thing and expect people to praise you and shower and come on you the political parties they should wake up and quickly conduct their primary in order for them not to hog tie or distort uh a neck time table because failing to do that it means the hard neck will have a lot of work to do as political activities intensify in the build up to the 2023 general elections it is the expectation of stakeholders that INEC will be transparent to convince the public of its readiness to operate without interference kingsley uchebu reporting